What's up everyone, Game Master468 here for the next part of my Fairly Odd Parents Shadow Showdown walkthrough. If you remember from last time, we got our main objective for this game, which is trying to create a Fairyversary Muffin so that we can reverse the, the effects of whatever the heck is going on with Timmy's TV. Um, but uh, Vicky kind of stole all the ingredients and uh, now we have to get all the ingredients back. The uh, first ingredient we're going to be getting is the sugar. Which we're going to be getting the level, Dad's Dream. So, let's get started. Oh boy, time to check in on the Home Improvement Channel. And oh man. My latest invention can do all that strenuous TV stuff. Robot, channel you mean, like a remote? Yeah, he has a remote right there. I don't know why a robot has to do that for... What? Oh dear. But... Dad? Did, did you die, Dad? <laughs> that waddle? Ah, uh, ah, uh, no! <laughs> no, get away! Alright. Wow, you should try hard. Signal must be making him sleep. How do I wake him up? The easy way. We'll take you into his dream. You can wake him up from the inside. Great plan, cutie. That doesn't sound easy, but okay. All right, let's get this started. Oh, God. Is this what my dad dreams about? It's pretty weird, Timmy. But dreams tend to be weird. Wow, that's pretty weird. <laughs> True. Concentrate on the job at hand, boys. Waking your dad up, Timmy. How do we do that? We need to shock him away. I suggest wrecking his dream. You mean destroy that robot? Sure, it's not real. He can dream it again if he wants. Okay. Let's whip up some wishes and break dad free of that strange TV magic. A suit. But there's no one in it. Oh, yeah, it's creepy. Let's make a wish. Well, come on, guys. You jump to conclusions. I don't think the suit's that bad. I mean, oh gosh! Ah! Oh gosh, that sounds wrong in a number of ways. It wants to wear you. Ah! Uh, no! I don't know. Maybe. Oh, good one, Wanda. Ha 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 ha! Funny. Anyway, uh, so yeah, let's go grab some. Okay, let's listen to calls when we want to talk some more first, I guess. We have to get down the river to reach the robot, but this boat doesn't look very seaworthy. It's as if your dad's subconscious is conflicted as to whether it helps us wake him or not. Yeah, he made us a boat, but out of weird stuff. Can we make this boat more boat-like? Sure, Jimmy. This is a dream. We simply need to stimulate the parts of your dad's brain that want to wake up. Yeah, what she said. Alright, so that's the objective for this level. We gotta turn whatever this thing is uh, into an actual boat so that we can get across and fight that giant robot there. Um, so we have to go to different parts of Dad's dream in order to do that. Uh, before we can move on to the next section of the stream, though, we gotta get some more stars. I don't know. But like Cosmo said, if, if Dad's dream of stars, do stars dream of Dad's? Deep questions, man. Deep, deep questions. Uh, alright, so uh, let's grab this thing. Stars. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of creepy. It wanted to wear me. Golf courses. Alright, so we're using Cosmo's good idea light bulb to attract moss. Wherever you find these lantern things, uh, you'll find moss flying around them. So if you walk near them while you have Cosmo's good idea bulb, uh, it'll lure a moss towards Timmy. 
and you can drag the moth along to, uh, different places. In this case, we need to drag it over to the suit so that we can get rid of it. Yeah, so that's how you get rid of those creepy suits. Uh, it's gonna get a little more complicated as we uh, get deeper into the stream here. So uh, let's see what that's gonna be like. Let's walk through here. We're gonna be entering his deep dream, I believe. So let's go in here. All right. Because moths are attracted to light, they're also going to be attracted to, well, all their light sources. So you can see we have a suit over there, but if we get too close to this light bulb here... Yeah, it's going to get uh, closer to this light bulb here, and it's going to go away, so you can't get the, uh, the moth all the way to the suit. So in some cases, you'll need to do things like hit buttons in order to turn off the light bulb, so that you can progress forward. It's a light switch. Yeah, good job, Cosmo. You did a good. You did a smart. Alright, so now that that light is off, we can go over here and get rid of this uh, evil suit of death and destruction. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's keep going here. They're going to be seeing some more challenges with this. Yes. We have a light bulb that's going to turn on and off. There's no light switch for this one. So we have to time it just right so that we can progress forward. Alright, made it just in time. Alright, we also have a frog over here. If you get too close to that frog, he's going to eat your moth. So, we're going to have to find a way around it. And in this case, we're going to be using this box to get around it. Let's push it into the water so we can jump across this gap. And get that suit out of the way. Yay! Saw those metal blocks over there. We can't do anything with that quite yet. We'll need another wish later on before we can do anything with it. Alright, so we have a light uh, in the way over here. I'm gonna use this thing. And now switch the lights around. So now, as soon as we uh, defeat whatever that thing is, we can bring this moth over here. And now let's switch the light again so we can move forward. Alright, now we can get this suit out of the way. <laughs> oh, that's not where I need to be. Okay, that was close. Alright, another challenge that Gospel's good idea ball can be used for is this thing. When you get close to whatever these uh, worm things are, it'll start a timer. And you need to turn on both glowy worm things before time runs out. So we're gonna do that. This one's super easy because, well, it's the first challenge like this. There we go. Alright. So now that we've done that, we can progress forward. Is this another one of those? Yeah, that's another one of those lights that turns on and off. Alright, let's go over here and time our run just right. And let's go. Awesome. What's in here? Yay, money! Alright. Alright, we made it to the end. Sweet. Yeah, and now here's the metaphor thing Cosmo was bringing up earlier. <laughs> Makes sense. Alright, so we're gonna pull this lever so that we can stimulate this part of Dad's dream. And then that should fix the boat a little bit so that we can progress forward a little more. Alright, and that gives us more wish stars for us to go after. Well, that's a crummy boat. <laughs> we need to stimulate more of that brain. Also, I don't know if you could uh, hear it, but uh, there's a lot of creepy sounds playing uh, during this section of the game, too. I'm gonna be quiet for a second so you can listen. Yeah, you, you... that, 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 ugh. 
that, 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 yeah, that's a thing that happens in this section of the game. There's like these creepy dad noises that happen, and it's super creepy. Like, golly, that is, ugh, I don't like it. It's, it's creepy, man. <laughs> Uh, thankfully this is the only part of the game where that happens, so, uh, yeah, I know it's intentional, I'm not saying it's like a glitch or anything, I was just pointing out the, um, the creepiness of that section. It's just, uh, such a creepy, such creepy noises, man. Alright, so, uh, I fell, uh, that's a thing that happened. Um, I'm gonna cut ahead to when we, uh, get out of this part of his dream, because we do have to backtrack a long ways to, uh, get out of here, so I'll cut ahead to when we get out of this part of his dream. Alright, so we're out of the deep dream section now, now we gotta go find some more witch stars so we can get our second wish made. Alright, the next part of the dream that we're trying to go to is right over here. We need to get rid of this metal block that's in the way, and it doesn't look like Cosplay wants to have anything to say about it. Oh. Alright, they do have something to say about that. Yeah, we need a wish to get that metal block out of the way, because that's where the next part of his dream is. So let's get rid of the suit. And then the first wish starts right over here. Let's go grab it. Bam! Alright, let's go get the other two wish stars. Let's see, there's another one over here. We need you, man. We believe in you! Alright, don't think there's a wish star in- Oh, there is a wish star in here. Alright, let's grab that. Yeah! It's not an ultra powerful super magnet! It's a super powerful ultra magnet! No! Oh no! It's the same thing but with the word switched around! Uh. <laughs> um, but in all seriousness, now that we have the super magnet, we can go over here and get this metal block out of the way. Alright, so if we hold down the triangle button. And get rid of that mental block and we can proceed forward. You'll find, uh, hidden things. Uh, you probably saw back in the deep dream. If you want to, you can go and backtrack to the deep dream. And get some extra stuff if you want to. I'm not gonna do that, though. Cause, well, like I said, there's not really anything major you get for 100 percent in this game. So, we're just not gonna worry about that. For now, let's move on to this part of his dream. What's over here, Cosmo and Wanda? <laughs> Alright, so now this is when things start to get a little bit tricky. As you can see, we have a light switch over here. Or not a light switch, just a normal light. Um, but we can't turn it off. And we need to turn that light off. Because there's a suit over here that we need to get rid of. Well, something we can do with our uh, Ultra Magnet is we'd actually shoot metal pellets that's not shooting it, uh, Timmy. That's, uh, magnetizing. We can shoot metal pellets like that, uh, in order to destroy the light bulbs. And if you ever need more metal pellets, all you can do is just hold down the triangle button, and it'll give you more, uh, pellets for you to shoot. So it all come in super handy. We have some enemies here. Let's get those guys out of the way. Boom. Get this guy out of the way, too. There we go. Alright. As a result, something I uh, realized recently, uh, you can also get those metal pellets by just, uh, getting rid of those, uh, metal walls there, but you only get one metal pellet from them, so... Yeah, if you need to fully refill your metal pellets, you gotta rely on these things to do it, so, um, yeah! Now, with that said, let's switch back to our good idea bulb and get rid of this, uh, suit that's over here. Alright. Alright, so another thing, actually I think we need, uh, I think the moth that we need is over here, so before I can show this off. Alright, another thing, uh, if we, uh, get this moth over here, 
if we get to, like I said before, if we get too close to the frog, that moth is gonna, that frog's gonna eat the moth. <laughs> Alright, well we can't get across the water, there's no way we can uh, go around this frog. But what we can do, is we can get our ultra magnet, and we can fire a metal pellet at him. And then he'll just chew on that for a little bit, giving you some time to grab this moth over here. And then run past him while he's still chewing on the... whatever the metal thing is. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. That's a neat little puzzle you can do there. Well, I mean, you kind of have to do that puzzle. I don't know... I don't know why I said, like, oh, you can do it if you want to. I don't know. Uh, Alright, so what's in uh, these metal walls here? Is there anything interesting we can get? Let's see. Oh, nope, that's just an enemy. I don't want that. Uh. Yeah. Anything interesting in here? Oop, got a thing. Oh yeah, we got a sticker. They do nothing. If you say so, Wanda. I don't know why you're so fascinated by the stickers. Like you said, they do absolutely nothing. But they're fun to collect. Yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> uh. Alright, what's this one have? Just coins? Alright. So nothing we uh, really need from those, I guess. Alright, so we have another one of these time challenges here that I think I already messed up. Um, who knows, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see here. Alright. Try to pro skill? Yeah, pro skilled it, man. Skipped an entire platform. I'm awesome. Excuse me, there you go. <laughs> Alright, so doing that will give us a bridge so we, that we can get across. Let's go over here. Pincers, right? Pincers? Pincers? I don't know what you said. But yeah, I guess that's what those things are called. Okay. Alright. Uh, so we can go ahead and get the suit out of the way. I don't think there's anything we need from these metal blocks here. I'm mostly trying to find the, uh... Those, uh, clover things that I mentioned in the previous video. Or the video before the previous video, I should say. Because I really want that action. I like I like having extra things. Oh no, another tool. Uh, <laughs> whatever will we do? Maybe the same thing we've been doing. Oh, here we go. Grab that. Oh, never mind. I thought that was a thing. Okay, no, what these white clovers do, uh, they is they refill your health completely. Wanda, there's no suit there. Are you crazy? Are you okay, Wanda? Are you... Uh, have you been in the stream for too long and just going a little cuckoo? I, I don't know. But, uh, anyway... Oh yeah, there's a junk thing over here. Let's let's do that, because Cosmo says so. You gotta do what Cosmo says. And you know the old saying, Cosmo done did what Cosmo done do. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, uh, there's a frog over here that you can shoot a metal pellet at, but I don't know why, because there's no suit here. I, I, I don't know why that frog's there. there. There's, like, a lantern thing with a moth on it that you would think that you'd need to get rid of a suit here, but there's, there's not a suit here. So, I, I don't know why that frog's there, so, uh, well, let's just stimulate this part of Dad's dream, and then we can move forward. All right. Listen to all that shaky, shake, shakeness. <laughs> all right, that gives us our final three wish stars, making good progress on this level. And poof. All right, so. Let's, uh, jump down here, and let's get out of this part of Dad Street. That is not the exit. The, the exit's over here. <laughs> Alright, so let's get out of here. Alright, so we're back here. Alright, so the first wish star is right over here. There's our suit guarding it. So let's, uh, shoot this frog with our metal magnet thingy. Let's get a good idea bulb. Put our moth over here, and boom! Grab that star! All right, the second wish star's over there. I fell in the water. Ow, that's not that's not helpful. That's not healthy at all, man. 
have water that's not clean. Alright, uh, let's see. And I think the last wish star is over here. What are you going on about, Cosmo? What? <laughs> okay, it's not over there. It's actually, I think it's in this room. It's usually in one of those two rooms. Let's see. There it is. Alright, so what's going to be our final wish for this level? Whoa! <laughs> Yay! Timmy looks super happy about it. <laughs> All right, sorry, I got interrupted there. Uh, like I was saying, there's some parts of the deep dream section too that you can go into on um, user Claxon on to uh, get some extra things. I'm not gonna do that though. Alright, so this bench is sleeping, so if we use our Klaxon, we can launch ourselves up and get to the final section of Dad's dream. Alright, so let's go through this creepy tunnel of creepiness. Alright. see, maybe we'll get enough money to uh, get those super speed sneakers so we can sprint longer. One can hope. <laughs> Alright, so here we go, we're on the final section of Dad's Dream now. We have a suit here right off the bat. I feel like I ran past the thing. Okay, never mind, I didn't. Alright, let's go and grab this thing. Oh wait, hang on, before we do that though, we have a new challenge here. Some of these things, if you use your Klaxon on them, a timer will appear and that thing will stay awake for a limited time. I'm just gonna do that so we can hurry on, on up. And get rid of the suit. Alright, and while that uh, map moth is chowing down, let's see what's behind this wall. Anything cool? It's in here. Oh man, another sticker. Yeah, I saw. Okay. Okay, I mean, I'm, I'm glad to know that our dad's not super crazy. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh. Use our action klaxon to launch ourselves over here. And boom! If you have the uh, the super speed the super speed upgrade, you can actually get over here without doing that. But we don't have that upgrade yet, so we had to do it the old fashioned way. Now let's go super sliding, because super sliding's fun. Wait! Oh no, whatever will we do, I know, let's just ignore him. We <laughs> Alright. What's up, Cosmo and Wanda? Good to know, okay. Alright, so these things will launch you forward when you use your klaxon on them. So you gotta make sure you time it just right when the platforms are in the right position. So let's wait a minute. And go. Alright. Alright, let's get these enemies out of the way. So that they're not an issue. That is not an enemy, I'm so sorry Mr. Bucket. <laughs> I didn't mean to hit you, don't sue, don't sue. <laughs> Alright, what's up with the jazzy music, bro? Alright, what's behind this wall? Anything cool? What's up? Oh yeah, money! Alright, we'll definitely have enough to get those super speed sneakers at this point. I think it's like 150, I think, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh, Cosmo, you are right in this game. <laughs> Alright. We got some light bulbs here. Let's see. You know what? Just to make things easier, because I see a timed bench over there. Let's go ahead and get these light bulbs out of the way so that they're not a problem. Alright. Now let's get our action claxon. Do that. Now let's rush over here. Let's get our light bulb ready. Let's go. Oh man, come on, almost there, almost there, eh, eh. all right, we made it, just in the time, got you, 
Alright, check it out, guys. This is where Dad would place his prize trophy. If he had one! Anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that's a cool little Easter egg there. Alright, let's uh, get up there. Oh my gosh, dude, never do that again. That was terrifying. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're good, guys. We almost fell to our death, but we're alright. We're good. <laughs> right, we. Alright, let's just go. Eh. Alright, did it rise that platform is moving out of the way. Alright, is there a clover thing we can get in this wall? I'm really hoping I don't have to backtrack to get the clover thing. Is this it? Yes, we got it! Yay! Found it, guys! I was getting kind of worried there. I really didn't want to backtrack to get the clover thing, but we got the clover thing. And now I'm happy. We Alright, couldn't tell you at the time it just right well uh, so you wouldn't have to get uh stabbed by them screws and all that stuff. Alright. So we got another challenge here. Let's do this. Switch to our action flaxen. And let's switch to this. There we go. Uh, eat it. Alright, what's over here? Money! Alright, here we go. Gonna have to do this so we can get up here. I think we're getting close to the, uh... The, the brain thing. <laughs> Alright, got another soup challenge here. Let's get rid of these light bulbs. If they're not challenged. Where? Okay! I got too excited. I got I saw the money and I wanted it. And then the suit did that. Man. <laughs> Alright. While we're here, let's refill our magnet thingies. Alright. So. Let's go ahead and get this. How far can I be to activate it? Alright, pretty pretty far. Cool. Alright, let's uh, get our light bulb. Let's run over here. Um, about to run out of time. Okay, made it. <laughs> plenty of time, guys. Plenty of time. Alright, this is for eating me earlier, you stupid. Alright, let's activate this, and then the boat will be fully fixed up. Sweet. Alright, let's activate that. Wee. And boom. Alright, now we need to get fuel, guys, and then we'll be all set to fight that evil robot of death and destruction. So let's see, there's the tunnel over there. Let's cut ahead to when we get to the uh, fuel thingy. Alright, so we're back here in the main section of Dad's Dream. Uh, before we check out the fuel thingy, let's go and see if we can uh, shop for some stuff. There it is. Alright, let's see if we can get some new things. Alright, can we get the super speed sneakers? Yes! Let's get it! Oh, that's alright, Cause Well, we exchange it for something really awesome. Now, Timmy can run for extra long. As you can see, the super speed thing is a lot longer now, so now we can run for a lot longer now. That's pretty awesome. Alright, so with that, let's go over here and get some fuel. Oh man! Who do you want to suck fuel from your dad's brain? Me or Cosmo? Well, I kind of don't really trust Cosmo with doing things related to my father's brain because I I think uh I think Cosmo might just make thing make my dad's brain even worse than it already is. So uh, let's uh let let let's go ahead and uh, pick Wanda here. I think she's the more competent one to do this kind of challenge. All right. So this is a bit of a mini game here kind of an on-rail shooter kind of thing. Let's press the start button. Alright, so you fly around using the left analog stick and you shoot by pressing the X button. Alright, you just want to get rid of all the uh, obstacles that are in your way. You want to grab these light bulbs because that's apparently what the brain fuel looks like. Okay. Alright, so we got some enemies here. If we shoot them, they'll turn to really weird objects and all that stuff. And, yeah, that's we just gotta keep flying through here, avoiding obstacles, and just keep doing that until we reach the end. And, of course, grabbing the light bulbs along the way. 
Do, do, do. Grab that. Get these out of the way. There we go. Alright. I almost touched that laser. That would have been really bad. <laughs> this keeps me... Oh boy, ice cream! I wanted that. Looked awesome. Looked delicious. So is this pretzel. This pretzel, pretzel looks delicious too. I haven't had pretzels in a long time. They're, they're tasty. Alright, so here's the end over here. And with that... There we go. Well done. You're collecting enough fuel for the boat. Alright, do you want to play again? Nah, no thanks. I I'm good. <laughs> Alright, so with that... There we go. So now we can jump onto the boat and go ahead and take on Dad's robot. And we'll be doing that in the next video. See you then, everyone.